Hi guys, I'm Jessica and welcome back to my channel. I upload a new video every Thursday, so if you don't want to miss them, go ahead and subscribe because that will really help me a lot. And today, uh, as you can see, the setting is different than usual, so you can already tell that this is going to be a different type of video than my usual videos. Here in Italy at this time of the year, it's Carnevale or Carnival and probably most of you don't know what it is um, and actually I don't even know how to describe that but it's like basically a whole month um, of this holiday we eat some type of desserts and there are like dress up parties and parades and stuff like that so it's basically Halloween for us Kinda, I don't know. And today, here in my town, there's gonna be a parade, so everyone, or most of the people, is gonna be dressed up. And so that's also what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make over myself, I'm gonna transform myself from this to someone else. I'm gonna be a pirate this year. Why, I don't know, I thought of many ideas, but I decided to win with a pirate, so I'm gonna be a pirate. So this video is gonna be divided in two parts. There's gonna be one video, but the first part of the video is gonna be the makeover part, so the makeup and outfit transformation. And the second part is gonna be clips of the parade, so I can show you what it is, what I'm talking about, and all that, because I thought that is something different that not everyone has and outside of Italy so I thought that was gonna be interesting and fun so I hope you enjoy it if you want to see me transforming from this to somewhat like this and the carnival parade keep watching Okay, let's start this makeover. Uh, I don't know how many times I use quotes in this video, but yeah. So let's start this because in 30 minutes, yeah, basically I have to leave the house to go to the parade. So let's do it. Before starting, I wanna apologize because I know the makeup look is not going to turn out as good as the picture. I'm gonna show you once again how I'm supposed to look. And hopefully it's not gonna be too hard because it's not very like precise. You don't have to be precise. So I think I can manage to do that. And yeah, let's hope for the best. And let's hope I don't look that bad. Today I'm gonna use the palettes that I got on the giveaway. And stay tuned because next week I'm going to attempt to do another makeup look with the stuff that I got from the giveaway. So if you're interested, stay tuned because next week that video is coming. Let's start. Once again, I hope you can see, I hope I'm in frame. I know this is not a professional setup, but I'm not a makeup or beauty channel, so I don't really have that setup actually. So hopefully it's good enough. I already have the base on, so concealer, foundation, blush, bronzer, and eyebrows done. What I have left is eyeshadow, lipstick, and eyeliner, and that's it. First step, I'm gonna put on some uh, eyeshadow primer. Primer. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, or Insurance. Hopefully I can manage to do it because it's not very precise, it's basically covering the entire eye area. And I don't know about you, but it feels very purpley, burgundy type of color mixed with black. Let's try. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Love in London palette and I'm gonna pick the 
Cheers color as a transition shade and put it all over my eyelid. I'm not sure if I said where I found this picture. I found it on Pinterest, as you do. Um, and she looks really pretty, really beautiful. This makeup is insane. I like it a lot. And hopefully, like, on her it looks amazing. On me, it's gonna look like I got punched in the eye. So yeah, um, if I look this way, it's because I have the computer with the picture on it, so that's why. Now, next step. I'm gonna use the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics palette and use the shade Grim, which is this burgundy color, and put it all over my lid, but focusing on the outer corner of my eye. <laughs> This looks terrible already. Let's even it out by using a fluffy brush. Really looks like I have a bruise on my eyeball, but that's great, you know. I'll do the same thing on the other eye. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna get the Violet Voss Essentials palette and I'm gonna use the shade black in the corner over here and once again put it all over my eyelid I look I look like a panda or a raccoon you decide now I'm gonna get the green color again and go once again on the outer lid and pack that in. I'm gonna go even on my brow bone. Fluffy brush. I'm gonna start to bring it down to my lower lash line and now with a pencil brush i'm going to take that grim color again and put it on the lower lash line <laughs> because she has like it goes like really close to her nose in a like pointed shape this is disgusting I'm sorry I'm not good at makeup you probably already figured that out by now I'm gonna take the Violet Voss palette again and use the shade cream to brighten the inner corner because I don't have like the glitter that she has. And then I'm gonna mix a little bit of the shade black and green and darken out the outer corner. I mean, you know what? Back then, pirates didn't know how to do makeup, so <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know what excuse to use here. Once again, with a pencil brush, I'm gonna get the green shade and do like a vertical type of line, but not too precise. Okay, now I'm gonna get a black eye pencil 
and draw my lower lash line. I don't know. From far away, it looks fine. From close, it looks disgusting. And now, it looks really black here, like very close to the lashes. So I don't know if she put like eyeliner on or I don't know. So I'm gonna try and do a line, but not any like cat eyeliner or anything, just right above my lashes to a black line to make it more full and dark. So I'm gonna get the real her. I am outstanding, waterproof liquid eyeliner. Okay, here it is. I don't want to make it too thick. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Normally, I would put mascara just on the top eyelashes, but I'm going to even put it to the bottom ones. Because it looks like she does have mascara on the bottom lashes. I actually have a lot of memories um, going every year to this parade since I was probably four or five. I basically went every year, so this is like a tradition now. I have to do the little cross here, but first I'm gonna put eyeliner on and I'm gonna use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian. <laughs> It looks like she has a little bit of highlight on the nose, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now for the cross, I think I'm gonna use the eyeliner. And I'm gonna do it right here. You know what? First I'm gonna use the pencil, the eye pencil. And then go over with the eyeliner. Not bad. Okay, not that bad. What do you think? Okay, and I think the last step here is lipstick. I decided to use a dark one since the girl in the pictures has a really dark lip. So I'm gonna go for the NYX or NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. It's not as dark as her, but I don't have a lipstick that dark. It's been a while since I used this lipstick and I remember it darker than this. I'm gonna put a little bit of red maybe on top to make it a little bit more darker. I'm gonna try and use the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 107. This is an oldie one. You know what? I'm gonna leave it like this because I don't want to make it darker. I don't have a darker lipstick. I don't want to put eyeshadow on it. So that's it. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of setting spray and we're done with the makeup part. Now I'm gonna get changed and we're good. Guys, this is the completed look. It's pants, a little corset, which is cute, and this like lace detail that goes all over my arms. I think it's kind of cute. And on the back, it's like this, like the lace thing goes behind my legs even. I don't know if you can see it, there's the hat. And yeah, I also have a sword, so I'll show you the sword. That's cool, right? 
this is the completed look as I showed you. Um, I'll see you when the parade is over because there's gonna be loud music and copyrighted music. So I'll probably put like some copyright free music over the clips so I won't be able to talk, honestly. So I'll see you when I'm back home after the parade. See ya. guys um, as you can see I'm not wearing any makeup because it's actually the next morning um, yesterday when I came back from the parade I forgot to film the outro so here I am filming the outro before actually ending this video though there's one thing I wanted to say and that is I want to apologize to you guys because um, I watched back the footage I filmed yesterday um, when I was filming the makeup part of the video and I realized that I wasn't like perfectly in frame and that it's really frustrating and annoying but um, I cannot film that again because the parade is done, it's over, I cannot do that again. And so please forgive me guys, I hope the video is still somewhat enjoyable and that's what you get when you film your videos with your phone and not with a actual camera because I don't have a camera yet. I'm saving for a camera and I can't wait to get one so hopefully that will be really soon and I hope you can forgive me on this one because I did not realize that until I watched back the footage. So there's nothing I can do about it. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and I hope you enjoy the parade and everything. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it if you do it. And also don't forget to subscribe, hit the red subscribe button, and also hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And that's it guys. I guess I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.